Um, I think the important thing for um, any believer really to, to continue growing is um, prayer, reading their Bible, um, fellowshipping with the saints, um, gathering with the saints regularly on Sundays um, for, for worship, um, and just a, a regular intake of healthy spiritual truth. Um, um, you know, and if that, you know, and that means I think part of the implication of that is making sure that that, um, that diet is trumping um, the diet that you get from elsewhere. Um, not letting, um, you know, whatever the world is trying to feed you um, quench your appetite before you get into the stuff that you should be eating. It's like eating dessert before dinner. Um, you want to make sure that you eat the good stuff first and then you let the other stuff you know, do whatever it needs to do later. The process of growth, I think, uh, you know, there were different times. I know a lot of people, they hit their, you know, age 18, age, age 20 or whatever, and they think by going out and exploring and seeing the world that they might grow. And uh, it was so interesting because in having those experiences myself, spending a lot of my 20s, uh, exploring, traveling, meeting new people, going new places. I found that, you know, one or two years in my local church studying the scriptures, having regular fellowship um, and being discipled was more fruitful um, in my growth, maturity, sanctification than 10 years of being around wandering, trying to figure things out on my own. Um, trying to, you know, quote unquote, find myself. I think that, that a lot of times um, people try and look within themselves and then look to the culture around them to try and figure out who they are, what they should be doing. Um, and really there is no replacement um, for Christian growth and Christian maturity over and against the study of God's word, um, the teaching and preaching of God's word, gathering together um, in your local church, serving in your local church, being discipled um, uh, by el older men or women, uh, depending on your gender, who are further along in the faith than you. I mean, there's just, there is nothing that is gonna, going to be more beneficial for the Christian than those things. And I think sometimes those means um, can seem so simple, but when you actually put them into practice, you realize that uh, there's a lot more to it. And, uh, and to be committed to that, um, and, and the discipline of it uh, is definitely a tool which God primarily uses to grow, mature, and sharpen the Christian.